Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the Unapologetic Negropian. In today's video, yes, ES is back. Now, of course, this has come as no surprise to me. I already told everybody last week what exactly she was up to. But how did I know and how did she do it? Well, we're going to answer those questions today. But first, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share and click the bell notification. First of all, I've got to congratulate her. It was brilliant. Actually, it was extremely smooth. Um, like I kept saying, she's a very intelligent woman and she knew exactly what she was doing. When I first started making these videos about ES, I simply started making them because I liked her and the reality is I find her in a very alluring, very attractive, very um, interesting person. So I made videos about her because I like making videos about interesting people. Yeah, of course, I knew she was making money from being some sort of uh, spiritual uh, healer and a lot of those are fake. There was a chance that she could be fake, uh, but you know, fake spiritual healers are a dime a dozen. But ES is different, okay? She is cut from a different cloth and you can see that by the way she performed over the last seven days. So this video is more for those people who stayed with me, stayed on my platform, for those people who were emailing me, telling me that something is fishy about what she was doing, for those people that knew she was up to something but couldn't quite put their finger on it. Right now, I'm gonna break it down exactly what she did and how she did it. So on Sunday the 20th of December, ES went live and she started to voice her concern at the videos that I was making. She actually called me a liar and said that she didn't want me to tell her story. Now, this was the first red flag, of course, for me, because I knew I wasn't lying. There was nothing that I was lying about. In fact, if there was anything that was untruthful inside my video, it would have come from her mouth because I got all my data, all my information I got from videos she had made. So that was when I realized something strange was going on. She then did something really cool, okay? <laughs> you guys. A lot of guys out there fell for it. She started to bring you down the corridor. So she started to switch on the emotions, making sure people could empathize with her. And there's only one way that she can do this, and that is by using the word bully. It was this which spurned a reaction from all of ES's so-called supporters. Yes, people blindly followed and trusted what ES was saying. Of course, this is what she does, right? She um, tells people about their futures in some cases and she only has her own words to go on. She has no tangible evidence that she knows about the future. What she does is she is able to manipulate people into believing, of course, that she knows what is going to be happening in the future. So people didn't even watch the videos, they just assumed that she was telling the truth. So as I went back on those videos, you can see that those videos have a lot of views. However, they are sort of artificially inflated by people just wanting to make comments. Now, by doing that, of course, the algorithms went crazy and it pushed that video out to people that wouldn't have seen the video in the first place. I found the reactions weird almost exaggerated. I think a lot of people were angry about the fact that I was the blame, that ES, their beloved YouTuber, was not going to be creating content anymore. So of course, they weren't happy. ES, of course, that day told people that she would not be creating any more content. This was the other red flag. This is when I knew she was up to something. This is when I started writing my uh, my reaction video because I just knew 
I knew someone was about to be finessed and it sure as hell was not going to be me. So ES um, stopped making videos for the entirety of last week. She didn't do anything. She doesn't make many videos anyway. But for her supporters, this was an anxious wait because she had actually told people that she was not going to be making any more videos. So people weren't going to be expecting any videos from her at all. She did something which was brilliant, right? And this is how I knew that someone was getting finessed, right? She told her subscribers to not email her and to not ask her to come back. Now, for those of you with a sharp eye, you would have realized exactly what she was doing because we all know, right? When somebody says something like that, it's likely the opposite is going to happen. She said it. She, she told her supporters not to email her asking her to come back because she knew exactly what they were going to do, that they were going to email her and ask her to come back. She used the oldest trick in the book, reverse psychology. And she got into their heads and lo and behold, seven days later, she is back on the screen. Really, that was a work of art. Um, that was, I, I know I said that Art Cathy was intelligent. I, I was saying that Art Cathy was intelligent, but ES is a different animal, completely different. She's in a different league, not even a different ball game. Let me tell you why ES is in a different league. It's because she, she finessed her subscribers so hard that, that most of them, the vast majority of them, they don't even know they've been finessed yet. A lot of them are still at home, very happy with the fact that she's back. That's it. That's all they wanted. So all last week, I got a, a lot of exposure. I got a lot of people uh, giving me a lot of their attention um, coming onto my YouTube channel. Some sending me emails, actually. Some people were sending me emails um, t telling me to stop what I was doing and making offensive remarks and sometimes threatening remarks. Yeah, I was, I, was, I was really quite scared. But the reaction from ES's subscribers were actually quite over the top. It was almost as if I had gotten rid of their God and they were crazy. And I've got to admit, made me look at it, look at her profile, look at her channel, in a cultish type way, like it was a cult, right? I mean, these people worship her. I can see why, of course. There, there is obvious reasons why people would worship her. And I'm not just talking about her physical looks. I mean, her as a person, she personifies all that is good and well-mannered, brilliant in some cases, uh, in, in an African-American woman. It's easy to see why they would have worshipped her in a way the thing is is that es knows she's being worshipped she knows she has complete control of her masses and yeah this brings us all the way up until yesterday when she made her comeback video wow what a surprise i was telling people all week last week she's in a very intelligent woman she knows what she's doing she's going to be back she's just playing a game I've been telling people that all week last week, nobody listened, and lo and behold, Sunday, boom, she comes back. The live that she did yesterday was brilliant. It really did, it made my hair stand on end because I could fully see that she had something which most people don't. She is a different person. Trust me. And so I started thinking about my video, actually, that I made, the first video that I made about her and about her possibly being used by these people, by the, um, the tribe up in northern Ghana. I now I'm starting to think it's the other way around. She came onto her live. One of the first things, within the first five minutes, what does she do? Bingo. She asks her subscribers for money. Now, she has kept on speaking about how 
her YouTube channel isn't making money, how no one is watching the adverts. She said this last week, Sunday, she said it yesterday as well. That is just a complete and utter lie, okay? It's, she will be making a good, reasonable amount of money from her YouTube videos. Uh, let me tell you the reasons why. One of those reasons is because of engagement. A lot of people watch her videos from the beginning to the very end. They don't just stop halfway in the middle and go and do something else. Most people watch their, her videos from the beginning to the end. That drives the algorithms crazy. Another thing is that most of her subscribers are from the United States of America. And in the United States of America, she would be getting a different RPM. That is revenue per thousand to you guys who don't have the YouTube studio app. So that is the amount of money that she would get um, from the United States. Her videos are never really shorter than 15 minutes long either, right? So she's going to be picking up not a bad amount of money, especially for Ghana from her videos. Many people like watching her old videos too. She often tells people to go back and watch some of her old videos. So she's going to be making from money from those old videos too. Least forget that she has two YouTube channels. She has Ancestor Juice and she has Eat, Love, Migrate. So she never said that she was going off Ancestor Juice. She uses Ancestor Juice to promote her spiritual healing and of course the Bonsu Micro Village. So there is no way she could have stopped producing content for that. So if I was to estimate the amount of money she is making with a 30,000 YouTuber you, uh, subscriber YouTube channel, I would have to say it's probably within the region of in between $1,000 and $1,500 per week, right? Um, that's $1,000 is a very conservative estimate and that would probably be after tax. I mean, when you start adding in other factors like her lives, super chats and sponsorship, uh, money coming in from people that you don't see coming in from PayPal. She's making a decent package from her YouTube channel. There was no way, and I told you this from the beginning, there is no way she's giving that up for no one. So yesterday, I wasn't that surprised when she came on. She said, oh, well, you know, I'm giving all this information out and now I'm going to start charging for it because why not? I mean, the sheer arrogance, <laughs> really, <laughs> it, was, it was brilliant. Just, just absolutely brilliant. I, I cannot, I, I, I'm starting to run out of superlatives to describe her. And like I said, most of us subscribers don't know they've been finessed, okay? They don't know that, that they have been psychologically handled like uh, an abusive boyfriend you know do you know how they do that how abusive boyfriends do it you know they corrupt the mind by being really nice then being horrible then being nice and then being horrible you know and it corrupts their, their woman's mind to the point in which they sort of fall in love with them and need them it was something like that and it was just i'm just sitting back here watching it going wow she's really quite good at this um, and it was at that time I started to think to myself, is she, is she just playing everybody? Does she even have the powers that she claims to have? I don't know whether she has anymore. I mean, if you really had those powers, why would you play the game that you played last week? I mean, even some of her own subscribers knew that something was up. You could see that. You could see that in her videos. Yeah, I mean, if you... Look, actually, I think she deleted the video now. She deleted a lot of those videos. Won't make any difference for me. That video from last week, that live video, where she said to people that she's going to leave the channel and she's not going to make any more content. Uh, in the description box below, you have a lot of her, of her subscribers saying, well, what's going on? What's the problem? What's the deal? Why are you doing this for? Even they knew she was overreacting. In fact, even YouTube knew she was overreacting because she was calling me a bully. And, and YouTube normally takes accusations of bullying extremely serious. 
So in came the complaints and YouTube sent me this email. I'll read it real quickly. We have reviewed the complaint and have determined that the content is accepted from removal based on our privacy guidelines, which can be found at this website, youtube.com slash privacy guidelines. The content does not violate our policies and will remain on the site. You see? Well, because you say you don't like it doesn't mean that YouTube are going to remove it. So there you go. Even YouTube knew that she was living a fantasy. Her charm, her wit, that smile, that enigma, that mysterious persona, everything about ES sells her and sells her services. She will now go on to make a subscription-based service so people will now need to pay to watch those videos, which is, uh, I don't know, rather unfair, I think, for a lot of her subscribers. I don't think it's going to make a massive difference to her channel, but she's gonna make a lot of money. If I see that she, someone is being finessed, especially in our community, I need, everybody needs to speak up. I think we do this in the, in the African community. We tend to sweep things under the carpet, you know, so, so nobody talks about it, but it's, we need to start speaking out. We need to start taking care of one another a lot better than what we've been doing. And we need to, we need to have integrity. What's the point in having all these services and just living a lie? So where do we go from here? I have found a list on YouTube. It is the final class of the Intelligentsia, Chief Amarchi's spiritual school. We are going to go through this list because this list is extremely interesting. I found this list actually a few weeks ago and when I went through it, when I started googling these names, my mind just went wild because a lot of these people are doing exactly what I now think ES is doing. A lot of them are doing extremely well financially from capitalizing on their spiritual healing sessions. There are a lot of other things that I found on this list too that you guys are gonna find so interesting. We are now going back in line with the people who are finessing the Afro-Caribbean and African-American community, the diasporans, the returning diasporans. We are going back to the people who are conning us of our money. Before I leave, I want to say thank you to you guys for your support over the week. Uh, there are a lot of people who was emailing me uh, words of support and really it, the, the support that I've got from my subscribers, there were, there were a couple of hundred that left. That was all good. I've got now a tighter knit group of people who aren't um, uh, intellectually disadvantaged. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want to be nasty, but I've got a group of people who actually know what's up, okay? And I'm very happy about that. So we're going to get to work and try and find out more about people who are, who lack integrity. So thank you very much for that. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Until the next time, please think twice to our bit.